Hello there. Uh, this is going to be a quick little walkthrough just showing what this node system is capable of doing, a geometry node system here. Uh, it's somewhere down the line, do plan on making a full-blown tutorial, probably do the node system from scratch. Uh, just don't have the time to do that right now, but it will happen. So what we're looking at right now is we got one object, two objects, three objects, four objects, five objects, and six objects right down there. Oh, right down there. Uh, all six of these objects are all hooked up to the same geometry node system, which I got labeled right here as HUD-01. So if you see, we click on this one, HUD-01, this one, HUD-01, are all using the same thing. Uh, over here on the right-hand side, brought out all the inputs, so we can do some controlling without having to dig into the geometry nodes. Uh, this top section right here starts for the inner ring band material. Uh, we got the material, we got the size, thickness, and coordinates and everything. I'll show you this right over here. We'll use this left one as an example. Sorry about that. Use this left one as an example right here. So for the inner ring right here, this top one, the thickness, that controls just this pink area. You see, move it around. Uh, the next section controls the three little blocks right here, the three little triangles. We can change the size of them. This is controlling the inner part, inner part of the vertexes. And I don't know why I got these labeled height and gap, that's going to have to change. But then you can control the outside of them or the inside of them. You can also control how thick they are or how wide they are, the length of them. Oh. And obviously as you just see, if you jack it up all the way you can create a full ring. And also you can control the count, how many you got on there. So now we got four, five, six. Uh, <clears throat> the outer block, which would be for this one, is this lighter blue area right here. And it's the same exact thing. You control how well, you can control how many. There we just jacked it up too far. But you can control how many of them. You know, the rotation, the length of them, blah, blah, blah. Uh, right here you can set the height of it if you wanted to. So right now it's below these black bars that are sticking out. If you wanted to, you could raise it up a little bit. Now it's above it if you want to do some design like that. Uh, like with any geometry nodes, when you pull the inputs out over to here, off to the right, so you got access to them, all, everything can be keyframes. Right now you can see the gap on this one, which is the height can get keyframed. Uh, let me go to this blue one over here because it's got a couple things going on with it. Uh, so. With the keyframing, you can do normal keyframes like right here. This Z rotation, this section right here for the inner part controls all three. It controls this light blue line, this darker blue, and then this thin dark blue one. Uh, as showed earlier, you can set up all the materials for everything right here for each one independently. Or in this section right down here, you can use the same material, selecting a material. We're just going to go with black. And then this single material for innards, it's just a, kind of like a toggle on and off, Z's off. One's on now. All three of them use the same exact material. Oh. Uh, use the same material for that. This right here, we can control the rotation. You can control the rotation individually. So right now we'll play with the rotation on this one right here. If you wanted to, I don't know, align it. So you got equal halves on each side. Or you want to have it offset or, you know, I don't know, whatever you want to do. Something like that. Now you got a whole nother design right here. This is really very, very flexible. You can, you know, completely different design right here. Uh, but if you want, you can add drivers. So right here for the rotation, which controls all three of them, as you can see right here, they're just going. We got that set up with a driver, with a frame driver, divided by 15 to slow it down, and it'll just continue to do a circle. As you can see, these other pins right here, how they're wobbling. We're going to the left, clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise. That is controlled down here. So what I did with that one is I went to the very beginning of the timeline, down here, added a keyframe, and then went up into the graph editor. And on that uh, section that we keyframe, I added a sign function modifier over here, and then just played with the settings, and that's how this one enables to go back and forth like that. Uh, this one down here, I believe I added one also to. Yeah, this one's a repetitive one. Oh. 
sorry. This one's a repetitive one, so I set up a couple free frames to have it flip. So it's actually just doing one rotation over it to, over itself, and then had them uh, oh, had it just repeat that port that section right there. Um, you can also just keyframe the whole object, like I did with this one right here. So. As you can see, all the keyframes down here, as I scrub through the line, it'll move up uh, through the, the thing changing the arrow itself or crosshair is changing itself. That's all done through keyframings on the right. But then you can just keyframe the whole object to hit on different things if you wanted to. Uh, as you see, some of my designs here and animations aren't quite the best. Right now, this is just a test run and just wanted to see if I can get the node section functioning. Uh, with, uh, with that, with the node section, uh, Here's the node section for it, the geometry nodes for it. Uh, it's not quite as daunting as it looks, and again, somewhere along the lines, I definitely will go through and do a full-blown tutorial on it, but it's a lot of copying and pasting. Uh, things hooked up to this top bar right here, the input controls the blue, which actually that also controls the size, the diameter of it. Oh. So everything kind of works in percentages of each other. I got uh, multiplier dividers in there, so it kind of gives a bit of a spring action rather than just a scaling action. Uh, then the next section, it's all hooked up to this, controls the inner ones. Controls these inner ones right here, which is this section right here. So I did the whole node section on that and then just duplicated it, <coughs> brought it down, added a couple, th added a couple things onto it and then merge that into the top one and then those two got merged into the main one and then the bottom did the same thing this is one set of pins that are sticking out made that node section and then just duplicated it made a couple of changes and that's for the final node section uh, kind of new to all the geometry nodes here so there's probably a lot better way of doing this but this is working for now and again somewhere down the lines I will go through and go through all this uh, hope you're finding all this informative and take care of yourselves bye bye